Hi, I'm Lori, and I um, teach a lot of classes at Stitching Post, a lot of beginning ones, and I show people how to do Y seams a very slick way. So I am going to show you today how to do the Y seams my way, and I'm going to do two, two of them all at once. So you see the first step, and then you think about it as I do the second step, and then I'll do the second step, and that kind of thing, okay? And so usually why it seems you put something pretty in the window, if we're just going to do an attic window one, and then something on the two sides of it. Okay, so like here's one that I did four different blocks, something pretty in the middle kind of thing. Sometimes you can do a piece block in here and then still make it look like a window going on. Okay, there are also um, other Y seams, like this is, is one, here is my little Y seam, and Y seam, and Y seam. So there's one, two, and then this gets to put together. But this is a little more advanced. So this starts out very simple. So, okay, so first thing you do is you need to mark the corner that you want, and if you have a picture, decide which way you want it to go. So I think I'll go this way, so I need to mark this corner. So first thing I do is turn it over, remembering I'm marking this corner, and I need to do a quarter inch mark there. But you don't want to do quarter inch here and there. You want to have it there and then slip it a little bit this way and that way. Because when you put the mark, it would be beyond it. So I've slipped this back just a bit and just a bit and then mark it with a chalk pencil a pen whatever it's not going to show it's on the wrong side okay all right then i lay my pieces here and i put them how they're supposed to go because it could get a little confusing sometimes so i do that one there and then i have the bottom part there and here. All right, so first thing I do is slip over my center part. It goes on to the darker side and the left hand side, and then line it up. And down at the bottom, and I need to put my little point there, it will come out not exactly even, and you don't worry about that. Because usually on seams, you want this one and that one to come out even, but it doesn't. Okay, so. And I have put in the machine a little seam guide. And it's a slight quarter inch, and I use this a lot. That comes with a little, um, let me do this, the needle down. It comes with a little contraption kind of thing to put it in. You line it up, it hooks there, line it up there, and you put the seam guide in and then take it away. And if it's too long, you can cut it off. You know, because a lot of the new machines have where this part comes out, and then you have all of this down there, and then it gets loose, but this works just fine. Okay, so seam guide is there. And I'll line it up here and there. And then just start sewing. And the other thing that I, whoops, I like to use is a, a machine that starts is a foot that's here because when I get down to my little dot I want to see that and a lot of the feet have something across there it's hard to see or you're okay like this trying to see it but this one is very good okay so down to the end And I try not to get anything too long so that you have to sit and watch a long time. <laughs> All right, now when you get close to the point, there's another thing that you find out. When you hit reverse, does your machine go one more stitch? Or does it stop right there and go back? So that's something you'll find out as soon as you do this one. Now this one, I know it goes one more. So I'm going to go and then hit there and then it goes back and I'm just back hacking a little okay 
and then I pull it out a little bit and I'm going to do one more same step at the same time. So here would be my next one and I usually if I'm making attic window ones I do three or four at once and just do the first step and then come back and do the second step and so on. So, so this will now go start in there and again one the quarter inch down. And get to the dot and backpack a little bit. Okay. Then pull those out. And I'm going to put another little bunny tail. We call them bunny tails. Other people call them leaders, followers, or I'm sure there's a lot more terms out there for it. Okay. Then these two come here. And they come back here. I forgot going to do that one. And they lay like this. And the iron sits there. You don't touch it yet. So no pressing. All right, so now I know this one has to go there and line up here. And then I look at it and I have, I don't know where to start, do I? I can't tell the my mark is under there. So what I do is I turn it around to the wrong side, as I call it, and I'm going to start to get a little pointer here. I'm going to start right here in my seam, about a quarter of an inch away, but right at the edge, and I'm going to sew or turn my hand wheel to that dot. And then I'm going to turn my whole piece and go out. So show you one more time. It's right up here. You don't have to, you know, make a big, you don't have to do all that. You don't want to come in straight. You want to come in just like, like a 45 degree angle. And then just bing, 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 bing. Needle goes there. Turn it and sew out. Okay. So in this one should have, you can see kind of on here what I have done in there. Here's Here's the, the spot that I'm going to do. That down to there. And then it's right at the needle and then sew out. Okay. And this goes a little bit slow because it feels like, okay, this is really not feeling wrong, right? So it's the wrong, that's why I call it wrong side sewing. And either way that you want to do it, turn the handrail or hand knob about three or four stitches or just kind of sew in. And since I can see really well, where I want to be, but I'll turn it there. And then one more, I'm getting right in that dot. Okay, so then, and turn the needle all the way down because you want it to come down and back up again, starting a stitch. Then this comes up and it turns. And you lay all this there and that down there and then press the foot down and sew to the end. Okay, so we'll do it one more time, right? So it lay here, get it all nice and even. Look at it, it's like going, oh, I don't know what to do, but I do this. Turn it over, and I only need one layer, I don't need two. And then I'm going to put it here, check where my thread and my dot is, right there, okay? And then put it in the machine, and you're kind of, you're putting it in like at an angle almost. You're not putting it in straight at all. And so then I'm going to go to that little dot. One more. And all of this just knows to stay out of the way. So it does. Okay, then turn it and line it up with your seam guide, so your quarter inch, and out to the end. Okay, and then I get my little bunny tail because I don't want it to do anything funny when it starts. And that's all through. 
Okay, then these go back down just the way they were. And we're turning this because now we're going to do this part. And again, no ironing. Okay. All right, so now we have these two. And what you want to do is line them up. And first of all, kind of peek here, and they should be just about like this. Mm -hmm. Just a little teeny, you know, smidgen of that showing kind of thing. So I line these up and use a pin. And I like these because they all of a sudden they have heads again mm -hmm. kind of thing. So then mm -hmm. they are heat resistant, not that the iron's going to touch it. And then pin about out here so that this will really stay together kind of thing. You're not going to sew over it or anything. Okay, so then you have it like this. It will just go like that. And now where I'm going to sew is, again, in the seam. And I'm going to sew to that thread that was created by the last seam we did. Okay, and then turn it and sew out. Okay. So same kind of thing, hold this kind of at a funny angle, and then just sew in there to that thread. Okay, I go just about one more there. I'm like right before it, I'm not right on it. And then turn the whole thing and line it up. Okay, and sew out and make sure these are still together. Now this is bias, so don't hold tight onto the fabric. And the other thing is some machines at this point sew nice and straight and keep everybody even, some don't. So get your seam ripper. There's some little cute thing to hold on to, a purple thing. There's all kinds of things out there. And then just make sure it goes through and comes out straight. Okay. All right, one more time. Make sure we remember what we do. <laughs> So the two points go right together when I should check it and it's good again there. And put the pin in. And you might have to just even this out a little bit, but then pin. And so where did my pins go? Right here. Oh, I turned it over. That's why. Okay, then pin and have it pinned about here. Oh, a marking tool. Okay, and same kind of thing. You're going to just start here in the seam and go just right to that thread or just a teeny bit in front of it kind of thing. So I'll raise that up. And this is just out of the way. Okay. Needle all the way down back up and turn it, line it up, so out to the end, and we'll get our little seam ripper to hold on to it. Okay, take out the pins, clip it apart. And now we get to iron or press. <laughs> okay. And so then what I do now is over here and I put it down like this. And this is going to go out. That's going to go out. And then this one, it just, it wants to go one way or the other usually. And then just turn it like that. Turn it like this. And then we look at the front. Oh, that worked. Yay. And then just press it from the front side kind of thing. And sometimes when you do this, maybe, okay, that has to sit there. You don't get right in here, but if there's a teeny little hole in here, it gets covered up. Mm -hmm. You know, if I didn't get quite close enough to that thread. So one more. And, oh, that one was pressed. I 
guess I did a good job on that one. <laughs> so this one needs to be pressed. And I usually, it seems like if I press one going down, then they're all going to go down kind of thing. Okay. So there is the other one. So slick method for doing wipings. Okay. Okay.